talking about here is no drum. And in order to figure out which size you need to put on your car, it's actually very simple. Do you put the long one or do you put the short one? We're going to use this BMW to show you what's the easiest way to figure it out without having to do a bunch of math. So when you're working with a no drone resonator, the key here is to try to get the resonator installed as far up in the exhaust system as possible because everything after the resonator is what gets canceled out as far as drone. And so if you install this resonator, for instance, on this BMW, after the passenger cabin, it's gonna be droning everywhere ahead of the passenger cabin and not after the resonator. And the real benefit of no drone is that there is no exhaust restriction. It's all about sound waves. So the sound wave comes into the tube, bounces back and cancels out the drony frequency. And once you've figured out a location where you can comfortably fit a no-drone resonator, what you want to do next is determine if you can fit a longer section. The longer the section is that you can fit in here, the better off you are as far as RPM range that it's going to have an effect.